What's up guys, Triple C here. So I might have a way to basically ensure that your race will not get infected. For people that don't know what it means, uh, when we build land races here, create a race, you got the option to build a stunt race or a land race. A land race has the old physics, stunt race will have the cunning stunt physics, and all of our races keep on getting broken because we build them as a land race. At the end when we publish it, bam, it has cunning kind of stunt physics, the race is broken, all work for nothing. Me, myself, I haven't been able to build anything since January. Everything has gotten infected with cunning kind of stunt physics. And um, some people are more lucky, I guess, than other ones. And uh, there's a lot of steps that we take. I'll go into that uh, later, like all the small bullshit we have to do. Uh, all the shit we try to do to not get our race infected. Um, but uh, I might have a method here and I need all of you guys to basically also try this because just because it worked for me now doesn't mean that this will always work. Basically, we, we need numbers. We need a lot of people testing this. And if basically we get the same result for everybody, then we can say this might really be a method. But um, like I said, just because it worked for me now one time doesn't mean it will always work. So basically, um, the underlying idea is that uh, if I want to build a land race, I am going to start out with a stunt race. I'll purposely have cunning stunt physics in it. And now what happens with the infections, as you guys know, <clears throat> when we get the cunning stunt physics, um, Either you take the um, the code of the cunning stunt physics from free mode or however it gets in there. It seems to be random sometimes also. But the cunning stunt physics code is somehow ingested, is taken into the creator, and it's somewhere in the save file of your job where it's not supposed to be. And you can't get it out anymore. That's why we call it infected also, because it is just there. It's not removable anymore. So the basic underlying idea of this here is build it as a cunning stunt race purposely because that way you'll have that cunning stunt physics code where it's supposed to be and that way you can also remove it again later so basically i'll just quickly lay this down here build a photo and now what we do first we will just place one cunning stunt prop at the airport place it wherever now we got ourselves a cunning stunt race. This will definitely have cunning stunt physics. Now you just continue building your race, like whatever you're going to build with old uh, props. So what you want to have in your old physics race. You just place all your props down, build your race, yada, 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 and so on. And then you publish it. So now we, like imagine if this would be a wall ride, whatever, you know, I just built my wall ride here and I'm happy with the result and this is how my race should look. So now I'm going to publish this and it's going to have cunning stunt physics. So I'll do a test and place the checkpoints down and everything. And after that, I will go on publish. I will publish the race. And now um, we have a normal cunning stunt race with cunning stunt physics. After it's published, you go back into your job you delete that cunning kind of stunt prop and also what I do when I delete them because I'm I'm pretty certain this has something to do with it. Um, it's a long story but it has something to do with when we used to glitch the water barges on land back before we had access to the barges on land. Um, where you delete a prop or what you, what you hold in your hand um, goes into this. This definitely plays a role. So um, when you're going to delete your cunning kind of stunt prop again hold an old prop so now i have the cabin here or the cement bags so now i'm going to delete the cunning stunt prop i'm just going to place another normal prop and delete it again and now after deleting the cunning stunt prop move the trigger of your race and move the starting grid and now you obviously got to do a test again then you test your race and after that you publish it again and for me this worked now my wall ride had old physics again and i mean thinking of it logically like what i said before this would make sense if this really does work um, because by build purposely building a cunning stunt race 
The code of the cutting stunt physics is in the save file of the job is where it is supposed to be. So by removing the prop again, moving the trigger, moving the starting grid, we're now removing the code from where it normally is and making it a land race again. So for me that worked and um, let me know if it worked for you guys because like I said before, just because it worked for me one time now doesn't mean that this is like um, the method that will always work basically. Um, if, if it is, you know, just please everybody post down in the comments to tell us if it worked for you and especially if it didn't work for you, that would be interesting to know. Because there's like so many things that we do to try and prevent the race from getting infected, you know, like <clears throat> what I do, for example, before I even go in the creator, I make sure I, I load up GTA Online to an invite only session. I play an old physics race. Uh, from the old physics race, I quit GTA Online, I quit the game, I restart the PS4, I load back into GTA Online story mode. Do not go into online, because in public lobbies or also in free roam sessions with the CEO stuff, for example, you also sometimes have the cunning stunt ramps and the CEO missions. Sometimes you have it with the bikes in, in free mode that you can't fall off, that you got those cunning stunt physics. Um, just never go into free mode always go in the creator directly from story mode and that seems to work for a lot of people some of the t or or a considerable amount of the time but not always like for me for example i'm just always unlucky with the shit like my stuff always gets infected period no matter what i do and uh, you know like people do intermediate publishings you know so they just build like a small section of their race like four containers then they publish the race they test it online see if it still has old physics if it has old physics make a copy of that race um, continue building from there once you got the next small section publish it again see if it still has old physics and if that worked make a copy of it you know and like mystic Brawley, for example he like he'll do 50 publishings intermediate publishings until his race is ready because i mean it's just fucking ridiculous that our races always get infected with these kind of stunt physics you know and but you know if you just build a wall ride you know it can it can be a one take you know if you got a route laid out you know which props you're going to use you can't like publish a wall ride 10 times while you're building it you know if you if you know how to work with templates and build it quick and yeah my stuff like since january it always got infected i couldn't publish a single land race everything i did got infected i stopped building wall rides and old physics races because i'm just not putting in the time anymore with this shit always getting infected so this really might be a method here so if you guys like i said try that and uh see if it works for you basically and of course you know there's a downfall to this if you're just building a wall ride or simple stuff this might be a solution once you start building new error races with flips and stuff like that um you can't test it online with cunning stunt physics because the flips will work different again you know you never know how your flips are going to be but still it might still be a solution for like basic stuff for basic wall rides basic maybe if you want to build a gp or just a jump race or something something where that doesn't require like an immense amount of testing and trying it online over and over again um so yeah uh, let us know if it worked i'll quickly go through the steps again start building a stunt race Put down one cunning stunt prop at the airport, build your race, just finish it off, do a test, publish your race, it will be a cunning stunt race then. Then you go back in the creator, you delete the cunning stunt prop while you are holding an old prop. While you're holding a cabin or a cement bag or a container, you can delete your cunning stunt prop, place an old prop again, delete it again while you're holding an old prop, move the trigger, and move the starting grid do a test again and republish and in theory this should have removed the cunning stunt physics and should be a land race again so yeah uh let me know if it worked and uh, yeah i still got uh, one or two races i still got one race coming up for you guys here maybe two we'll see about that so yeah just let us know if it worked and uh, let's hope this works Alright, what's up guys, Triple C here, we're playing Reptilian King Wall, um, the latest wall ride. I tried out a new method, um, which basically we had an idea to maybe prevent the races from getting infected, because literally everything I've tried to build since January got infected. 
and I've also really stopped building war rides and stuff because of that, because I just can't get anything published without it being infected. So what I did in this one, I'll do an extra video on it because I need some masses to test it, you know, there are a lot of people try and test this method and see if everybody gets the same result. But basically what I did is built this as a stunt race purposely in the beginning with one kind of stunt prop in it. Published it and after that I removed the kind of stunt prop and moved the trigger on the starting grid and then uh, turned back to a land race. Like the underlying idea is that when it gets infected that kind of stunt code is ingested to somewhere where it's not supposed to be and you can't get it out anymore. But if you make it a cunning stunt race on purpose, the code is where it should be, and it's also possible to remove it then. Whoa. No, 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 no! I got the checkpoint though. Idiot. You idiot! Let's get it now. Okay. Yeah, that entrance line. Just take the second line on the big barges. That's exactly your line. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite tricky because on the barges you have to steer quite a lot because they're very straight. There's not a big curve in it. And obviously in the sharp turns, no steering. You got it. Uh. No, no, no! Ah, oh, I fell off the bottom again. Probably totally impressed. Ah, oh, oh, idiot. You idiot! So yeah, they're hard wall ride. Link is down there. Check it out. I'm up. Peace.